Today, I want to share with you six different ways to lower elevated histamine levels. And if you're not sure if you have histamine or are dealing with a histamine reaction, let me share with you some symptoms to be aware of. Allergies, skin reactions or skin reactivity, hives, runny nose, fluid in your ears, scratchy throat, and even digestive imbalances or digestive disturbances can be signs of histamines. Histamines are, are in general, are a way for the body to, it's a body process related to inflammatory cells. And it's part of the inflammatory process, but it's also in response to either a foreign invader or a residual effect of your immune system. Now we have scenarios like different viruses and even food related histamine reactions that can elevate your histamine levels. So I wanna share with you these six ways to lower histamine naturally. First and foremost, you want to take part in a low histamine diet. Histamines are going to be found in a lot of the aged packaged foods like aged cheeses, cured meats. They also are going to be present in fermented foods, citrus food, foods. So, you know, whether it's grapefruit or oranges, tangerines, lemons, and limes have elevated histamine, avocados, strawberries, tomatoes, and foods like spinach can be elevated on the histamine food scale. So just be very conscious of the foods that you eat. And I like to recommend number two, identifying what we call trigger foods. So keeping a food diary is what I recommend. And you can use your phone to do that where you have like in your notepad or, or notate on a calendar. But it's important to notice the different feelings that food gives you. Often immediate histamine reactions will be a puffiness, uh, sinus kind of effect, runny nose, kind of have the itchiness in your throat and even hives from eating foods. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have throat closing or it's anaphylactic shock, but it can be sensitivity. And sometimes it may be you're eating too many histamine rich foods and that's then causing an overwhelm to your system. Now, the third recommendation here and things to support lowering histamine is you really want to support your gut health. Your digestive health is a big player in terms of these, the cytokine reaction. Cytokines are inflammatory cells and cytokines take part in the body for, or they're triggered by body reactions. So when we are digesting food, that tends to be where the food chemistry and our blood chemistry or body chemistry interacts. And that can often trigger a cytokine storm or cytokine reaction cytokines end up releasing tons of little histamine cells that cause redness, it cause irritations, it inflames cells. So you might notice you might even hold on to fluid a little bit more and bloating and gas can be effects in the digestive system. So eating and reaching for fiber dense foods, also reaching for yogurt and kefir, even though it's fermented, that's on the lower scale. Like if you look at fermented food, kefir and yogurt are lower but they have good bacteria that helps offset some of the imbalances from histamines. Another thing that I like to recommend is consuming garlic and onions and even bananas have histamine lowering properties. And then I also recommend reaching for our probiotics. We have a single strain of the L planetarium that is powerful for boosting your gut and microbiota balancing so that you can man manage and minimize histamine reactions within your digestive system. Now, fourth is a very powerful enzyme and it's called DAO, D-A-O, and that stands for diamine oxidase. DAO is a, basically it's like a little Pac-Man that gobbles up excess histamines. And, and so when you use a DAO enzyme, it's an enzyme that basically breaks up and it, it sucks in and gets rid of metabolizes histamines. So DAO is a really powerful resource for a lot of my long COVID patients or post COVID infections. I'm even seeing histamine reactions with my patients who have recovered recently from RSV and the uh, rhinovirus and assorted viruses that were prevalent in the fall, late fall and early winter seasons. And another supportive that can be helpful is to make sure that you are supporting your methylation process. If you know you have MTHFR, which is a gene mutation that 
really affects your methylation of B vitamins. Methylation challenges um, can be affected by histamine. So you want to maximize your methylation process, meaning eating good leafy greens and adding uh, various supplements like our organic greens that has a whole bunch of um, methyl promoters. Those are going to be helpful. And obviously reaching for methylfolate and uh, the methylized version of B12 can help offset some of the methylation challenges. And last and final, reach for or antioxidant rich foods. I love to recommend mushrooms like chaga. I like to recommend kiwi fruit, green tea, and even moringa. Those are powerful antioxidants, very high on the antioxidant scale. Those help to also metabolize and address the single cell histamines that are causing a lot of inflammatory effect in your body. So those are six powerful ways that you can lower your histamine levels naturally. If you have any specific questions about these six tips or any others, please comment down below and I will um, answer in the Ask the Dr. Melissa uh, column that we have here on our website blog. Thanks for tuning in.